New tonight, a story you will only see here on Fox 56. The family of a Vietnam veteran searches for answers following an incident at a doctor's appointment triggering PTSD. Our Jake Sarwar spoke with the family and joins us live now, including reaction from the Health Network. Jake. Yeah, and today marks one week since that doctor visit for a military family in the Poconos that sparked a resurgence of PTSD. Jill Lemmy and her family moved from Florida to Stroudsburg to seek better medical care for her husband, a retired U.S. Air Force sergeant. Donald Lemmy has been battling Parkinson's for nearly a decade, on top of side effects from war like PTSD. He'd give you the shirt off his back. Very caring person. Now he's just miserable. He saw a lot of stuff that nobody ever wants to see. I had the chance to speak with Donald, who wanted to enlist after watching his father join the armed forces. My dad was in the Air Force during the Second World War. And, you know, he did pretty good at ABR. Went in without a high school diploma. Donald had a pulmonology appointment at St. Luke Smithfield Gateway in East Stroudsburg. Construction sites surround the health complex where explosives help level the land. His son, Sean, who didn't want to go on camera, explains what re-triggered his father's PTSD something the family had thought they gotten under control. The nursing staff is blocking the door, construction workers are outside, and by the time you blink, you heard, you know, two, maybe three explosions. Sean says his father begged him to leave immediately and grew silent on the ride home. I let him be, and I just focused on the road, and I just cleared the area as quick as possible. As Jill explains, since the appointment, Donald's PTSD has worsened. He's moving all over the bed, saying incoming, screaming incoming, take cover. And then he pinned me in my bed into my rotary cuff, telling me to get down. He wanted me to go under the bed. The family says they would have rescheduled the appointment if they had been informed about the blast beforehand. They've since filed a complaint with St. Luke's to see if they were aware of the work. This past week has been hell on earth. It's like, I feel like I'm back seven years ago when nobody was listening to me. Now, I did reach out to St. Luke's who say they were aware of the blasting taking place that day, but just not the specific times in advance. Live tonight in Master Control, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.